What it do guys, your boy Jax, welcome back to another reaction. So today we're gonna be going ahead and checking out a iceberg video. So we got the Diary Wimpy Kid. I kind of want to see the iceberg explanation behind this one. I'm very kind of curious about the Diary Wimpy Kid story. Ooh, within the last decade, you know what Diary of a Wimpy Kid is. Yes, and honestly, it's for a good reason. Diary of a Wimpy Kid is legitimately a pretty good series. This yeah, is the Diary yeah, yeah. of a Wimpy Kid I seen the movie iceberg. though. I, I remember know. the books. If you clicked the on this video, you probably already know how an iceberg chart works. But just in case, the That's higher entries never... on the iceberg are supposed to be pretty well known that, pieces of information of relating to the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, just kind of the tip of the iceberg. While the deeper entries on the iceberg are supposed to be more mysterious and obscure pieces of information have those relating books to Diary, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Is this kind of ridiculous? Mine, yeah, but we're going to try and identify and define all the entries on the Diary of a Wimpy Kid iceberg. All right. We'll go for the, the deep cheese dive. touch. The According cheese to touch. the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, oh, book, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, remember, I know about the cheese. Is the touch. central antagonistic force of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. The lore behind the yeah, cheese the touch cheese begins touch. at the start of the first Diary of a Wimpy Kid book, where it is revealed that there is a moldy piece of cheese on the basketball court at Westmore. And if you are to touch the cheese on the basketball court, yeah. you would contract the cheese touch. The only way to get rid of the cheese touch <laughs> is to pass it on to you. someone else by touching them. This it's leads so to stupid. holders of the cheese touch <laughs> becoming social outcasts. As people would try to avoid them in attempts to not have the cheese touch passed on to them. Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid is a spin off of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, and as where the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books are told from the perspective of Greg, the Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid are told from the Wait, perspective what? of Rowley. The whole book series is Rowley That's basically gonna, writing a biography oh, of like Greg that? from his perspective. Zooey Mama. Oh, Zooey Mama is a comic that first appears in the first Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. The comic is created by Greg and Rowley, and the whole idea behind the comic is that there will be a build up to a joke, and then the punchline will just be a guy saying Zooey Mama. Disney Plus series. <laughs> on December 10th, 2020, so Disney announced that they would be working on a new movie adaptation of Zooey Diary of Mama. Wimpy Kid. Unlike the previous Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies that were live action, though, this adaptation would be animated. Which, honestly, why wasn't it this way from the start? It's slated for a 2021 release on Disney+, Plus, but no official release date has been made. Oh, movies. What? I think this is just literally talking about, like, the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies and how they exist. Yeah, the yeah they only made two. Movie yeah, eight. Did. Diary of a Wimpy Kid The Long Haul is the fourth movie in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. I don't know if these people took over the Generally, uh, the people don't like it. They changed a lot of the animation. actors from the older movies and a lot of people just did not like that. Not to mention the movie just kind of sucks in general. Like the other Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies, you can kind of like Oh, they made three. Wait, wait they made weird. three? Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Day... I only saw two. I didn't even know they did a third Pretty one. ironic kind of way. But I guess with this movie, people just think it legit just kind of sucks. I don't know. Merchandise. I think this entry on the iceberg is literally just referring to Diary of a Wimpy Kid merchandise. You know, with the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series selling over 250 million copies, of course there's going to be merchandise to go along with it. You know, some of it's pretty normal stuff, pretty run-of-the-mill, but there's also some weirder stuff <laughs> that just no. doesn't work. That is really weird. makes sense. <laughs> Um, That's creepy. R slash loaded diaper. R slash loaded diaper is a Reddit community centered around the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. There's quite a lot going on with it. One of the most popular things on this subreddit is people posting their Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan fiction things. Oh, that's and of cool. course, you know, a lot of these are ironic. But as far as I can tell, there are also people that post fan fictions and take their fan fictions uh, pretty seriously. Beyond fan fictions, though, R slash loaded diaper is kind of just a gathering place for the Diary of a wimpy kid community if that's what you want to call it you I know, wonder, Reddit, so. I wonder, I wonder if it's still alive Gooby is that a community. word Manny makes up in the first diary of a wimpy kid book Manny calls Greg a ploopy after he loses his tingy to make Greg mad <laughs> McDonald's books a diary of a wimpy kid happy meal promotion was done in the UK from September to October in 2016 oh. uh, basically with your meal you could receive one, one of eight a small diary promotion. of a wimpy kid books. how come US they're really get short the they're not like legit full length books obviously but in in recent years, they've become a little bit of a collector's item, I guess. Manny hate. I think this entry on the list is referring to how, among Diary of a Wimpy Kid fans, Manny is not a particularly well-liked the character. Heck? There is a thriving community of Diary of a Wimpy Kid fans that just despise Manny. There is a subreddit with 40,000 <laughs> members little Manny, called little Manny that is effectively dedicated to how much people hate Manny. Oh, so why do these people gosh. hate Manny so much? Um... 
I don't know. Poor man. Greg, oh, I'm no. not gay. I'm not gay, Greg, is referring to a Diary of a Wimpy Kid fanfiction called Diary of a Wimpy Kid 25 Years Later that gained quite a bit of notoriety. The fanfiction is about Greg's life 25 years after the events of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, where it's pretty much revealed that Greg's family is completely dysfunctional. Greg has a dead-end office job. Manny has moved to New York and been disowned by his family. Greg's dad is battling cancer, and Rowley has moved to Boston. It's also <laughs> revealed that Greg is gay and likes Rowley, and so in the fan fiction, <laughs> Greg <laughs> tries to meet up with Rowley in Boston yeah. to see if he's into it or not, and on arrival, That's Rowley crazy. says, I'm not gay, Greg. Hashtag not my Roderick. In the first three Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies, Roderick is played by an actor by the name of Devin Bostick, but in the fourth Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie, The Long Haul, the actor for Roderick was switched from Devin Bostick to Charlie Wright, and a lot of people were not happy about it. The writers for the movie said that the oh. switch in actor was because the old actor for Roderick had outgrown his role, so they had to cast someone new but still a lot of people were not happy about the Switch. This hatred for the new actor for Roderick spawned a pretty popular thing on Twitter called hashtag not my Roderick, where people would just effectively use the hashtag to complain about how terrible the new actor for Roderick was. <laughs> Pop Tropica. That's Pop good, because I never saw that movie. That's crazy. RPG I didn't even know they made another one. And it's one. another one of the creations of the Diary of, of a Wimpy Kid author, Jeff Kinney. It was this exploration sandbox type game, and the reason I think it's on this list is because there were two Diary of Wimpy Kid themed island levels. Scottish translation. Scots is a fairly popular dialect of English that is spoken in much of Scotland. Uh, Scots looks pretty weird to a lot of English speakers because it's very familiar to English, but yeah, it has some weird quirks. I'll yeah. give you an example of a sentence I know in Scottish English talks and then a translation that. of it in Scots. The children caught some insects in the garden. The bairns caught some beasties in the garden. So it's yeah. like English, but it's not it's quite. Not, yeah. And there is an hey, official I know, I know, Scots I know translation talk. of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And it's pretty incredible. This is what the first sentence of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book looks like in English. And this is what it looks like in Scots. The pig I'm appeared in Wrecking that. Ball. The pig is a character that was introduced in Diary of a Wimpy Kid The Long Haul after Manny wins it at a fair. And the pig would continually make appearances in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books up until Diary of a Wimpy Kid Meltdown. In Meltdown, Greg's dad sends the pig to obedience school, but it is then revealed that the pig escaped obedience school and the Hefley family loses the pig. At this point, it seems like this is the end of the pig for the Diary of a Wimpy Kid Aww. series, but it was recently discovered that the pig does make a small cameo appearance in Diary of a Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball. In Diary of a Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball, the pig can be just barely spotted in Manny's toy pile when he jumps out the window. This has led many Diary of a Wimpy Kid connoisseurs to theorize that the pig never went missing in the first place, but instead Manny has been secretly taking care of the pig without the family's knowing. Diary of a Wimpy Kid was originally a webcomic. According to most documentation, Jeff Kinney has been working on and writing about Greg Hefley since 1998. But in 2004, he started uploading Diary of a Wimpy Kid comics to funbrain.com. And it would pretty much be the launching point for the Diary of a Wimpy Kid franchise. Yusuf Alinin Majahalar. This entry on the list just translates to Yusuf Ali's Adventures, and it's basically just a Turkish ripoff of Diary of a Wimpy oh, Kid. The book series <laughs> doesn't ripoff. really even try and hide it at all. It's literally just what it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it follows is. an incredibly similar story they probably, yeah, they only Diary of that a Wimpy Kid, and it has very similar character dynamics. It's, it's just effectively Turkish Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Igdoof. Jeff Kinney, the creator of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, went to the University of Maryland, and Igdoof was a comic that Jeff Kinney made for the University of Maryland's campus newspaper. Apparently, it was super popular on the college campus. However, according to most sources, when Jeff Kinney left the University of Maryland and tried to get his comic into newspapers and get published, he would just continuously get rejected. No one wanted the Igdoof comic, and because Dang. of that, he ended up moving on to Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Not a whole lot is known about the Igdoof comic itself, due to the fact that much of the comic has been lost to time. In fact, the Igdoof comic is usually considered to be a piece of lost media, but from what little documentation there is of the Igdoof comic, the comic was about a character a good thing that Igdoof, Igdoof, worked out it was very him. similar to Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It reflects many of the same ideas and themes as Diary of a Wimpy Kid. In fact, some of the characters are literally just Diary of a Wimpy Kid characters. They are. Like, they you might Diary be thinking, Kid, wow, Igdoof kind of looks like a grown-up version of Manny. Well, in the comic, Igdoof's little brother literally is just Manny. Not to mention, <laughs> this character looks a lot like Greg. And this character <laughs> from one of the Igdoof comics is also in uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Do-It-Yourself book. Cancelled Cabin Fever Special. 
In December 2012, Jeff Kinney announced that there was work being done on an animated adaptation of Diary of Wimpy Kid Cabin Fever that was slated to be aired around Christmas 2013. In August 2013, though, Kinney stated that it would be a half an hour television special and it would be pushed back to be aired on Fox in late 2014. Well, 2014 kind of came and went and uh, the movie never happened. Yeah, it's probably oh, possible I've though, that about work that. that had been done on this animated adaptation of Cabin Fever is probably going into the new Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie that Disney's working on. Yeah, Greg Disney is a sociopath. Greg is a sociopath is basically a fan theory that, well, Greg is a sociopath. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a sociopath is a person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behaviors and a lack of conscience. And a lot of people think that Greg Heffley can be described as a sociopath. Mm. People often cite Greg's grandiose sense of self, his constant manipulation of his best friend Rowley, his constant he ability be doing to that. Himself I ain't that lie. his lies are true, his complete lack of empathy, and how he barely ever seems to feel guilt or remorse. Many people believe that Diary of a Wimpy Kid is not the diary of your average teenage kid, but instead the sociopathic ramblings of a mentally ill soul. The Manny will not be televised. The Manny will not be televised is referring to how somehow amidst the recent BLM movement and push for police reform, somehow Manny became a symbol associated with like a cab. And police like a symbol, it's bro. super weird and confusing. No one is entirely sure exactly how it came to fruition and why it's a thing and how it's a thing. Yeah, the thing the Manny hating community of Manny not being like associated that. with this pro <laughs> BLM thing is from a TikTok video made by the Manny Spotted in early no June. Way. In this TikTok, which now has around like 2 million views a guy draws a picture of Manny on the ground with chalk uh, accompanied by this commentary the Manny will not be televised man the Manny will not be televised look look pissed off the Manny look at look how mad he is he's tired of police brutality so he's tired of american imperialism <laughs> That man's tired Manny of movement, this bro. video has around <laughs> 2 million views, so it gained quite a bit of traction. And I think this is kind of where this thing spread from. Like, after this, you could start seeing, like, pictures of, like, Manny graffiti combined with phrases such as F 12 or Revolt or BLM or ACAB just like spray painted on random walls and stuff. There's a couple That's theories crazy. as to how this happened and why it happened and why it keeps happening. A post I haven't seen one like that yet out here. Supporters of the Manny that tries to explain the whole situation. And the post looks a little something like this. The Manny is not a radicalized hate symbol. It started as a joke, but it's come together as a symbol of like-minded people who seek change. It's something to bring a smile amidst a serious movement while still supporting the sentiment of the people. In World War II, Kilroy was used by soldiers to build morale in their fight against totalitarianism. And we seek to do the same. Keep protesting, keep donating, keep sharing, keep signing, and keep throwing up the Manny. Another theory I've seen thrown okay. around though about the Manny will not be televised situation is that people were purposely associating BLM and ACAB with Manny in an attempt to bait certain oh, groups nice. into the labeling Manny, Manny as a symbol hey. of violence. I mean, they're thinking thinking being that, well, if certain groups of people are going to start labeling BLM or ACAB as violent groups, can we, by extension, bait them into labeling Manny as a symbol of violence? Mainly because it would just look ridiculous. Even though Manny is a little child, crazy, baby. Though, because that's there's a change.org petition with over a million signatures that's pushing to change so the coming American from a flag, book, like, the what? national anthem, to something that more reflects the values of the Black Lives Matter movement. And you know what the flag looks like? It looks no. like this. <laughs> now, I mean, of course, probably a lot of people signed this petition ironically that's as well. Crazy. But I also imagine that there was a solid amount of people who looked at this flag and looked Yo, at Manny I and went, point, yeah, one Manny people. is the symbol of my values. It He, he reflects my values. That's I am now going to sign this petition because it's trying to change the flag to something that reflects my values. I'm not sure if this situation is a good thing or a bad thing or both or neither, but it's pretty crazy that even, this I don't even just know if like it's bad. happen. Anyway, if you like what you it's saw, funny. make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. Man, that was a good experience, actually. <laughs> Yo, that is the symbol. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god! All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that iceberg explain for the Diary of the Wimpy Kid. That was some funny stuff. I did not expect all that went down for her, especially for a character for like Manny. There's a hate community for Manny, and then there's a symbol of Manny. That's insane. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you guys next time. It's boy, Jiggle X. Take care. And peace. Well, I think you're pretty great.